guys, this is Sherry. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be doing just a little bit of playing around, um, unfranken planning my main catch all homebody planner, um, changing just a couple things up and continuing to set up for 2020. As you know, if you have planners or you're new to planners, um, it's always changing. It's always evolving. We do one thing for a while and then we get tired of that. And then we change. So if you think you want to get a peek at what I'm doing, stick around. It's not going to be a long video. Um, I've been putzing around in my craft room today and I just thought it'd be fun to sit down. And since I needed to do this, thought I'd do it with you guys. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, I have, this is my main catch-all, my homebody, and I do have it frank and planned at the moment with my social media section. But I've decided for right now, I don't want it frank and planned. So what I'm gonna do, let me go ahead, I've got January, February, March. Let me go ahead and pull, and I'll show you. Take this divider out. Show you what I'm doing so it'll make more sense. January, February, and March. And this guy goes off to the side. Enter. Stead. So this was the original planner that I got for 2019-2020. If you're familiar with it, let me zoom in just a skosh, guys. Bear with me. Um, if you're familiar with it, it's very, to me, it reminded me a lot of the homestead plan, or not the homestead, I'm sorry, the farmhouse planner. But I got a little anxious in 2019 and I started using it a little bit early. I, I stole March. Let's see. No, I didn't steal March. I stole the page in for March. April, May, and June. But I already used it. So let's go ahead and get these back in here. So we're going to go March. I'll show you what's going to happen. And some of this I already set up. My mother-in-law, when she was staying here with us after she broke her ankle, we were playing around with our planners one day, and I just got a little sticker happy and set up for the whole month of January in my social media and my catch-all planner. So I have to do those a little bit different. Um stick this dashboard aside because I'm not sure quite where I'm going to put it. So as you can see now in my social media planner, let me see what I've got going here. Planned a week back that I accidentally planned. So this is our current week and then I've got two more weeks already set up. So I'm going to have to decide how I want to show you that. And we've got February, March, and January, March. So April, May, and June. Yes, January, February, March. So April, May, and June. April, May, June, July? Or do I have July? Let me look. Okay, I have July. Yes, I have July of 2020. So April, May, June. So, okay, now what we're going to do... I hope I'm not confusing you. I purchased this planner, and you guys have seen this before if you watch my channel. If you haven't, um, I picked it up at Joann's probably last fall. It was on clearance. I don't know what it was called. Um, if anybody knows, feel free to put it in the description box below. It's really pretty seasonal planner. 
um, and I've tried to use it here and there, but I've just been tweaking things around. However, it is a 2019. So um, as far as the monthly overview, unless I wanted to go through and redate everything, which I don't, I'll just, it's a, um, a monthly layout. So there are elements and aspects that I can use, but there are some that I can't. But I thought for the price that I got it for, as much as I Franken plan and change things around, this would be perfect. So what we're gonna do is come in and February, March. We're gonna start with April. And since I can't use, I don't need to use the monthly calendar, I'm just gonna go, nor do I really need to use, it, although it's super cute, and maybe I'll change my mind and decide to, but I don't really need to. So what I'm gonna do is implement this. So there's July, do I have that? April, May, June, that's right. See, it's easy to get yourself confused. So what I'm gonna do is put, actually, you know, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to because I used those dashboard. I just won't use the month. So what we'll do, and this is such a pretty notes page, we might as well have it in there. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to add this in for April. And what I'm doing, folks, is I'm using what I have. That's what I'm doing. I don't mind redating this if I decide to use the monthly calendar for April, May, and June. I really don't, it's not a big deal to me. So I just wanted to get that established. So being as how it is undated and it's a, a monthly, I can put whatever date I want on here. So I can utilize this for April. I love the little seasonal theme. And this is May, so April, come in with May. So don't be afraid when you see a planner or something that, especially if it's an undated or a monthly that you can utilize for other things, don't be afraid to pick it up if it's super, super cheap. Um, and then I get into July uh, for my... And I had already used that, uh, remember I showed you I used the July currently page, so this goes fine. I don't mind it at all. And then I'm back into July, and I can switch it up. If I decide I want to do this planner for August, I can put August in here. If I decide, I, you know, I did use it for, let's see, September, October, November, October, November and December, I did use it, so I can only go through set up into September. So October, November, and December, I did utilize. Um, and that's just some extra paper back there. All right, so let's take a look. I basically, with a little bit of creativity, just replaced. Remember, I already used April, May, and June of this 2019 section but we're good to go. So we've got January, February, March, April now, May, June, and then we hop back into um, the homestead in July. So that's what I wanted to show you for that. So I'm gonna be putting this off to the side. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change things up. So I have a little basket. Let me show you my little basket. I have a little basket that I keep right here on my desk. This, if you recognize, was one of the happy notes. And I just love this cover. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty. It's so springy. Um, but I use this for my candle business. Um, I have a new candle business that I've started up a couple of months ago. So I'm keeping track of everything candle business related. I'm still needing to re-label all my dashboards, but I haven't gotten that done yet. So I keep my basket right there. 
um, and my planners go in and out of it. So my social media sits right there. Um, call her Big Bertha because she's pretty chunky. She's on expander rings, um, discs, excuse me. Um, she's kind of hard to open and close. I did make these protective covers, front and back out of vellum, clear vellum, and I laminate them, laminated them with laminating sheets. Um, and then that just gives me a little protective cover, keep my cover from getting so messed up. So now that takes a little bit of space out of here because this is pretty much everything home. I've got, as you can see, some sticky notes. That's my monthly calendar. I did order, <coughs> Actually, I ordered the downloadable PDFs from um, At Home with Kita. I'm so excited about these. These are the monthly pre-planning. You're going to see a video coming from me very shortly. Planning for February. Um, I did goof up when I set my printer up to print these. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't do them front and back. But I really don't mind that too much because I'll tell you why. This is just on regular printer paper that I have at home and it's not real thick. So actually I think it's gonna work out better because you know how pins are. If I were to write on the front of this, it's gonna bleed through to here as you can already see that the ink has done. So I don't think having it on two separate sheets is a big deal. So you're gonna be seeing these in the front of every month as I said, I'm not going to worry about January. I'm probably going to play around with it and just sort of get a feel for it. But you're going to start seeing these. I think I've printed out enough for the whole year. So I'll have one before each month. And I probably will even use them in my social media planner. Except in that one I can cross out the meal plan ideas. So basically, I'm just back to, this is my current week. Um, what have I got on here? Oh yeah, these are just, this can come out because that's more social media related. So this is my current week. As I said, I've already pre-decorated the next two weeks. And so um, we'll go through those. Maybe I'll do every day fill in. Maybe I'll do a weekly setup. I'm not quite sure. I don't normally do it that way, but we were just playing around with our planners and I decided to do that. So now I'm back to just strictly the home body in here. Um, I can take this out now because this is social related. Whoop. I can take this out. Dashboards. Yep. So now those are out. And then the only other section I have is the home, which as I've showed you before is the laminated sheets from the home extension pack, which is the meal plan and grocery list. That is the only um, thing I have in here. Other than that, it's just on expander rings, discs, excuse me again. Um, I want to keep the whole year in here. I don't want to be taking it out and taking it apart. I do have a lot of extra fill paper in here for projects that I plan on working on. Um, so that's it. So if you want to, you know, sort of simplify your planner, maybe streamline it. It was getting a little heavy already, and I figured it's only January. And if this sucker is getting heavy, because this goes around my house with me. I also have another um happy planner that i use it's actually stays on my dining room table it's for my fly lady routines that i check off daily um but i did not bring that in here and i'm not changing because i just set that one up so maybe we'll do a flip through of that i have changed some things if you've seen some prior videos on that um but anyway just wanted to share with you today just a little bit of unfranken planning and then Putting everything now back into home planner, social media planner, candle business planner, and then I've got my fly lady control journal, and I do have other planners, but I'm just talking about the main happy planners, 
and um, then my mini, which you're going to see because I need to do my setup on that. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching and spending some time with me. Uh, remember, just be kind to yourself. Be kind to other people. Uh, we all need to give ourselves some grace and we need to give other people grace and just love each other, respect each other, respect yourself and lift each other up. That's the world needs more of that. So until next time, you guys take care. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you again very soon.